This is Mr. Martin. These are video notes for math analysis, section 11.3. This is uh, video two. Uh, if you haven't watched video one yet, you might want to go back and watch that. So now we're going to talk about the derivative of a function. So very closely related. It's we're really just using different um, some different words to describe the same thing. Um, so when we talk about the definition of a derivative, the derivative of function f at x is given by f prime of x. So this is our derivative notation here. So this is something new. Derivative notation. Okay, and we're going to get a couple different ways to write the derivative. This is probably the one that we'll use the most, but there are a couple others, um, and it's important that you know that really it's just different ways to write the same thing. So you notice that f prime of x is equal to our difference quotient. So we're just giving another name to our difference quotient here. We're calling it a derivative. So the derivative basically is a formula for the tangent line to the graph of f at x at the point x comma f of x. So really the whole process here is uh, similar to what we did in video one we're just giving it uh, some different um, some different names um, we're calling it a derivative now so um, again this these are the very first steps uh, to building your foundation for calculus so let's go ahead and take a look at an example we want to find the derivative of f of x uh, equals for uh, for the function f of x is equal to 4x squared plus 3x so f prime of x is going to be the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h okay so for f of x plus h we're going to plug in x plus h into all the spots where there is an x so our difference quotient is going to be become 4 times x plus h squared plus 3 times x plus h. So there's our f of x plus h minus, again, notice the parentheses, f of x, which is going to be 4x squared plus 3x. And we're going to divide this whole thing. Just going to save some space here and use some braces. Divide this whole thing by h. All right, so now we've got to simplify. Again, this in here is going to be x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. And then we're going to multiply it by 4. So now this becomes the limit as h approaches 0 of 4 x squared plus 8 xh plus 4h squared and then I have to distribute that negative so it's going to be minus 4x squared whoops hang on sorry about that I forgot the rest of the part I've got to also uh, add in this so I'm going to distribute that so plus 3x plus 3h okay now I can subtract this so it's going to be minus 4x squared minus 3x and again, it's all of this divided by h. So let's see what cancels out. Remember, we're going to cancel anything out that doesn't have an h in it uh, so that I can factor out the h, which will cancel with the denominator. So I have 4x squared here and minus 4x squared there. I have plus 3x and minus 3x. Let's see, I think that leaves us everything else has an h. So now this becomes the limit as h approaches 0 I'm going to factor out that h so I have h times 8x plus 4h plus 3 divided by h and these h's are going to cancel and now since I don't have that h in the denominator I can find my limit by direct substitution so I'm going to have 8x plus 4 times 0 plus 3 which gives me 8x plus 3 okay so this is the derivative of our original function alright so um, 
If you want to give this a try on your own, go ahead and pause the video. I'm going to pause the video and uh, work out the solution to this. Um, so if you don't pause the video, the solution is just going to pop right up for you. Um, so whichever way you want to do it, go ahead and do it, and uh, I will be back in a minute. All right, so here's the solution uh, to this uh, example problem. Um, so if you want to go ahead and pause it right here and you can compare your work with my work and make sure you got the same answer down here or see where you made a mistake. Um, there's lots of places to make silly mistakes so I really suggest that you take your time when you're doing these and uh, don't skip steps. Um, you know, Try and avoid that uh, temptation to skip steps and get to the end right away. Um, because you're going to make some sign mistakes. So again, notice in this step over here, everything that doesn't have an H in it ends up canceling out. So if you end up with stuff that doesn't have an H that you can factor out, you know you made a mistake somewhere. So the negative 2x squared cancels with this positive 2x squared. The negative 4x cancels with the positive x. The positive 1 cancels with the negative 1. And then when I factor out that H, it's going to cancel with the H in the denominator. Then I can find my limit by direct substitution. And I end up with the derivative is negative 4x minus 4. So I uh, alluded to some other notations for derivatives. So several other notations to denote derivative of a function. Make sure that you recognize these, because um, we may use some of these throughout uh, the chapter here. Uh, dy dx, that's a notation for derivatives. Or you might see y prime, or you might see d f of x dx, or you might see the x of y. So again, just different notations. They all mean the same thing. Uh, just make sure you understand them. All right, so let's, uh, let's take a look at another example with a couple different parts here. Uh, for the first one, we want to find uh, f prime of x. So we're going to go ahead and do that the same way. So I've got the limit as h approaches 0 of x plus h cubed minus 1, and then minus f of x, which is x cubed minus 1. And I'm going to put in some braces here so I can save some space. All of this divided by h. All right, so if you remember, when you cube this, if you don't remember, then you can just you know multiply it out. So you would have x plus h, and then x plus h squared was x squared plus 2xh, 2xh plus h squared, and then you'd have to foil that out too. Um, but if you remember how to foil it, that's fine. So we've got the limit as h approaches 0 of x cubed plus 3x squared h plus 3x h squared plus h cubed. You could also use the binomial theorem if you wanted to, if you remember that, um, which would be a good thing to review for the final exam. Then I'm going to distribute that negative, so minus x cubed plus 1, and all of this is divided by, oh, I forgot my minus 1 in there. Sorry about that again. So minus 1 there, and then minus x cubed, and plus 1, and then that's all divided by h. And hopefully if I did it right this time, anything without an h is going to cancel. So here's uh, x cubed, minus x cubed, and minus 1, and plus 1, and then everything else has an h, which I'm going to factor out. So I end up with the limit as h approaches 0 of h times 3x squared plus 3xh plus h squared all divided by h and these h's are going to cancel out so now I can solve my limit by direct substitution so I've got 3x squared plus 3x times 0 plus 0 squared which gives me 3x squared all right, so here's my derivative. So now I can use the derivative to find the slope. So the slope at 
2, 7. All I need to do is take 2 and plug it in for x, so it's going to be 3 times 2 squared, which is going to give me 12. And then I can use the slope and that same point to find the equation of the tangent line. So really, the same process that we uh, used before, we're just using some different terminology. So I've got the point 2, 7. I've got the slope of 12. I'm going to use y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. So I get uh, y minus 7 is equal to 12 times x minus 2. So y minus 7 is equal to 12x minus 24, which simplifies to y is equal to 12 x minus 17. So there is the equation of the tangent line at 2, 7. All right, so last thing here, you try it. Again, go ahead and uh, pause the video. And um, when you restart it, you'll have the solution there. Or if you just want to wait, it will pop right up for you. Um, again, if you have any questions, make sure that you ask. Uh, very important concepts. Again, the building blocks for calculus. Um, you're going to be using this quite a bit. All right, so go ahead and pause, and the solution will pop up next time you restart the video. All right, so here's the solution to this last example problem. Um, again, be very careful when you're plugging all this stuff in. Make sure you're using parentheses and brackets to keep your positives and negatives straight. Um, so when we plug in, here's our uh, 10 times x plus h minus x plus h squared, plugging in x plus h into these two x's, and then we're going to subtract 10x minus x squared, again, the use of parentheses. Uh, and then when we simplify all this, FOIL and uh, distribute, anything that doesn't have an h in it, again, is going to cancel the 10x minus 10x minus x squared positive fx squared. Um, and then the three terms that are left, we can factor out an h, which will cancel with the h in the denominator. And then we can solve our limit by direct substitution. So plugging in 0 for h, so we have 10 minus 2x minus 0, which turns out to be 10 minus 2x. So this is the derivative, which is the equation of the tangent line. So if I want to find the slope of the graph at 216, I just need to plug in 2 to get a slope of 6. And then if I want to find the equation of the tangent line, I can use the given point and the slope using the same uh, point slope form again. So it's uh, y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. And then we come up here. Uh, substituting in the slope and the point, doing a little simplifying, and we end up with y equals 6x plus 4. So this would be the, the equation of the line tangent to the curve at point 2, uh, So uh, go ahead and make sure you do a lot of uh, the uh, problems from the section, uh, the, the recommended problems, and if you have any questions or any, any uh that you need clarified, make sure you ask me uh, the next time you see me in class. See you next time.